Hello Capricorn, it's Yvonne here to do your, let's move my cup of tea, <laughs> your weekly read from the 4th to the 10th November. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'd like to see more Capricorns come on board. I definitely don't have enough Capricorns. You know what I hate about long hair? Always manages to get in everywhere. <laughs> okay. I was saying, thank you very much. I'm losing my concentration, so I get the ADHD by the end of the day. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. If my readings don't resonate with you, you can check out other aspects of your natal chart, such as your moon, your rising or ascendant, and or your Venus. And if my readings still don't resonate with you, then you can move on. No need to tell me. <laughs> I actually am a little curious as why people to put the thumbs down. Because I'm thinking, did they put the thumbs down because the, the reading didn't resonate with them? And if that's the case, why would you do it? Because if it didn't resonate, you just move on to something that does. So I'm sort of always a little bit cute. <laughs> a little bit... Um, I don't know, curious is the word I'm looking for when I see that because I'm really not sure why the thumbs down, not just on the readings, in anything on Facebook. So if you're watching something and you don't like it, you stop watching it. That's the great choice about having a Facebook or a YouTube channel. So I don't know, it's got me bluffed. Anyway, cards I'm using are the Golden Tarot by Kate Black. And here's your reading Capricorn. Oh, we have the Five of Swords. Yick. Now, Capricorns and Scorpios, the only ones that didn't get a card that wasn't an Ace or a Major Arcana, because every other sign did. But Scorpio and Capricorn, Fours and Fives, I think. So this week for you, you could find yourself in little bits of squabbles with people. Now, the Five of Swords, the one thing about this card that probably doesn't get sort of talked about enough is it's a card of a bit of a hollow victory. Um, this person's standing there and they have everybody's swords there. So they've got rid of everybody, won the swords, and they're standing there on their own. So it's sort of like you may have done something which felt good at the time, but actually wasn't a good thing to do, or maybe you're questioning now whether you did it right or not. Because I feel that this is the one thing about the Five of Swords is it's all very well to win at something, but at what cost? Okay. Okay, so first card we have out is death. This is the first time I've seen the cards through all the readings, and this is the last reading. So there's some transformation going on here. There's some sort of change. It can also represent Scorpio, which is quite funny because as I was saying, the, so if you're having something to do with a Scorpio, maybe check out the Scorpio reading. Um, the thing is with the death card, it talks about having a transition. So death is a transition, but what it means is you're letting something go that no longer serves you. So it could be that you are, you know, changing something about yourself that you don't need anymore. Um, it may be a bad habit. You could be giving up smoking, for example, or drinking, or it could be something that's more deep within, within you, like a habit or, um, you're definitely changing something about yourself anyway okay so whatever this is whatever you're changing you it could be a little bit of a dark night of the soul feel with this here um, because it talks about sleepless nights you know fighting your demons here so it could be a little bit about that um, but definitely getting rid of something you no longer need and then we have the Five of Cups, which I think is the card that Scorpio got, but not 100% sure. So the Five of Cups talks about looking back at the past rather than looking forward. So being um, stuck in the past sometimes, um, but definitely looking back and feeling sorry for yourself. I'll work this one out in a minute. This has probably been one of the most complex ones. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Cups coins here or the ace of pentacles so a new start is on the horizon for you okay i'll tell you what's been happening some of you are perhaps going through some sort of transition or you've been through some sort of transition here i feel like you may have put that into action with that five of swords maybe you finished something you stopped something happening 
you stood up for yourself in that five of swords it may not been that it may not have been that the standing up for yourself was a nice thing to have to do but you did it and you did it because you self-respect that's what the, the five of swords is saying it, you may have cut people off you may have pushed people out of your life you may have had this victory over people. It may not necessarily be something that's given you a whole lot of pleasure, but you may have had to do it out of self-respect. And doing that has put you into some sort of transition phase here or put you through some sort of changes. So maybe it's the first time you stuck up for yourself. Perhaps you haven't done that before, but you've gone through this transition. Now, what I can tell you is it's caused you a lot of pain. Now, for some people, you know, when I say pain, we think of, you know, huge amounts of hurt. Um, for other people, when I say pain, it's just different. You may have cried a lot when you don't usually cry, but this is a person not being able to sleep at night. So whatever way it is, it's really affect you quite, quite drastically. And I feel like, it, you know, even though you may not have stayed in the past, I feel that there has been a lot of looking back at the past, but I don't think it's because of... You know, um, it's not because you've been looking at the past regretting anything. I think you've been looking at back at the past because you've been healing. So I think for some of you here, going back into your past mistakes, part your childhood, um, things that have happened to you in the past, you've had to do that to do this transition here. But what's happened and what's come out of that is this brand new start for you. Now, I don't know how soon this is coming in. But it's th this reading is for this week. But you know the weekly readings don't always go on the week they're supposed to. But there's this change here, this moving into, you know, a much more stable existence, a much more, I don't know, it's beautiful. Moving into something that you're much more comfortable with. It's a really nice, nice feeling here. And it's sort of much better than this whole Ten of Swords feeling. So you've come out of this now. So what you've been working on now looks like it's come to a close. I like that a lot. Because that says to me you're ready to move on now and create abundance here. Okay, and this is divinely guided. Okay, so there have been times here when you've questioned why you had to go through this. You know, I said to someone not long ago, and I know this sounds really strange, but before I started transitioning, life just seemed to sort of pass me by. And But... I wasn't unhappy with it. I just wasn't happy with it. It just seemed so ordinary on a day-to-day -day level. And when I started to transition and, and things had to move out of my life and I had to do things differently, sometimes it could be very difficult to say goodbye to things that I really loved. Um, but I had to do them for one reason or another. And I, you know, I look back at that and think... I'm absolutely made the right decision. That's what the Five of Swords is about. Cutting things out that don't serve you. It is an empty victory and it's very difficult. But now there are times when I look back and I think life was actually a lot easier for me years ago when I didn't think about these things and I didn't care about myself and I didn't have enough self-respect or self-love to really care how I treated myself. But you see, now I see things so differently. I see beauty in everything. I see a world that just has so much to explore. I am more happy being on my own than I've ever been in my life. And I'm quite happy to be there. Um, but, um, you know, I mean, I have a beautiful family. I have lots of support from my friends. I have better friends now than I've ever had. I have a beautiful family that um, of friends and people around me now, my family, that did support me through that process. But what I'm trying to say is for a lot of people, I feel like you've had to go through this process because the universe is trying to get you on a path to fulfill your journey. And I feel that very, very strongly with this star card here. And I know it's been a shitload of stuff to go through without any doubt whatsoever. And I have no doubt many Capricorns have gone there with me. There's something that we have evolved at as Capricorns. And I know this has been a very, a very general thing across all Capricorns. And not only Capricorns, but other star signs as well. But because I've been on the journey with the Capricorns, I've noticed it. 
So what I want to say to you is this is now done. It looks to me like you are ready to move into a different phase. I'm really surprised we don't have the world here really. But there is an offer coming in. So this is only a small offer. It's a page. Um, but he's got a cup. So it may well be an offer of love. It could be the birth of a child. Um, one of my my daughter-in-law has just given birth to my sixth grandchild. And she's just had a little boy, which now gives me three boys and three girls. But my daughter's pregnant with a boy too. So there'll be another boy in February. So that will give me seven grandchildren. Seven's a great number, but I don't think it's stopping there. Um, so what I'm thinking of is there is some sort of offer coming in, something new. It's not a big thing. It's not groundbreaking, but it's certainly, it's certainly what you've been waiting for. And it could be from a Pisces because he has that part, that fish in the cup. It's the only, it's one of the only ones I ever mention. Um, I don't like to mention all the star signs with all the cards because I think it's confusing. But that particular page, I always see the Pisces in that because he's got a fish in a cup. Um, and I know that the star represents Aquarius. Okay, so there's definitely a brand new beginning here. This is two aces. So you've got an ace of pentacles and an ace of swords. Now, the ace of pentacles talks about stability. It talks about moving in a stable relationship. The ace of swords is clarity. It's moving forward with direction. I always see it as the, and look, the victory card's right behind it too. The Ace of Swords to me is the person running into battle with their sword held high. They mean business. It's clear. There's direction. That type of, you know, pushing forward energy. And then we have a victory card, the Six of Wands. So definitely some nice stuff going on for the Capricorns. Oh, and look at this. Okay, so the universe is getting you ready for a relationship, quite possibly twin flame here. So if you've been waiting for someone to come in, it looks like it's on its way. The reason I know this is because you've done incredibly good work here. It looks like you've been through your dark night of the soul, you've addressed stuff. The only thing that hasn't come in here is the world, which always represents the, you know, the endings of things. But we do have the Ten of Swords here, so you're definitely ending something to move into something new. I like it that the lovers is up the front here because that says to me that you're probably ready now to meet the person that you are mirroring or supposed to be with. That's for the people who are supposed to be with someone. What I will say to you, if you've been through this journey and you're already with someone, then you are with the right person. And if you're not, well, then you need to move because someone who is right for you is coming in too. So well done, Capricorn. Beautiful reading. Makes me feel really good to read that. It's been a hard, long slog trying to work with all the crap from my past. But anyway, oh, that one wants to come out. The Call of the Night, Daring Adventure Excitement, number 16. Okay, the blessing here is attraction, stimulated, daring, unexpected, thrill, danger, change in circumstance, drawn to the occult, unknown, wish to understand, experimentation, challenges and tests. And it says time to step beyond the places and people where you feel safe. This is a time to stretch your wings and to seek out new friends, experiences and people. You will find so much if you dare to explore. And that's exactly what I was saying. The world is such an amazing place and until you've been on this journey and you've experienced all the pain of your past, you don't really realise how beautiful the world is. Thanks Capricorn, have a fantastic week.